Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here with me. I am Lou and this is a reading regarding Jupiter going direct on the 12th of September. So Jupiter is about to go direct. As we know, Jupiter is in charge of your luck. It's a very optimistic planet. It is very happy, very joyful. So this is a good time. Um, We've got some good times ahead of us, but as well, it's going direct in Capricorn, which is a very earthly sign. And now with Capricorn, I'm feeling that this is going to be something that is going to be affecting your home. It's going to be affecting your finances and um, your career, something that um, means a lot in the material world. So um, family, home, material belongings etc so let's dig in and see what the energies have for us so let's call on the angels guides keeps the light please guide me at this time which messages above all messages are in the highest good of all to receive as jupiter goes direct on the 12th of september what do we need to know as jupiter goes direct on the 12th of september so let's firstly have a card Relating to the energies that surround in this Jupiter going direct. We have, be yourself. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Don't try and play it small for anyone. Don't try and be something that you're not. Just relax and enjoy. Um, when you are relaxed, when you are joyful, that is when you are sending out the best vibes. Um, all these vibes are going out into the universe and it's going to attract good to you. So when you're happy, when you are relaxed, when you are enjoying yourself, you are going to be attracting so much more to you. So just be yourself. You've got nothing to be ashamed of. You are who you are for a reason. You are perfect as you are and you are genuinely, truly loved by the universe. So what do we need to stay focused on? What are we going to be focused on during this Jupiter going direct? Oh, that's too many cards. What do we need to be focused on as Jupiter goes direct? What do we need to be focused on as Jupiter goes direct? Eclipse in Sagittarius, growth. Success after a set. OK, so with it going direct, this is sort of like the end of the period of being stagnant, of things not moving forward. This is basically saying that, yes, stay focused on the growth, whatever sort of growth it is you are actually focusing on at this time. It could be personal growth. It could be growth within your career. It could be expanding your home, etc., Whatever it is, stay focused on it and look at it with optimism. Just be happy, be cheerful and expect the best to come to you. So what challenges are we leaving behind? The moon in Virgo, contentment, the chance to boost health and vitality leads to um satisfaction so i'm feeling where we have previously had discontent this is now going to be a thing of the past we've got to stop focusing on things that haven't made us happy things that have been stuck been stagnant um being down in our luck because obviously jupiter going direct is bringing in the luck so we need to leave behind the thoughts of things not working out things luck not being on our side etc Stop concentrating on the discontent, okay? You need to be happy, you need to be joyful, be grateful for what you have in your life and know that there is actually more that's going to come to you and it'll be so much better than what you've previously had. So what are we being propelled towards? As Jupiter goes direct, what are we being propelled towards? What are we being propelled towards as Jupiter goes direct? Just one card, please. Okay. We have the moon in Gemini, indecision. Okay. Should I stay or should I go? Now, this isn't that you are being propelled to indecision. This is you basically deciding, making 
um, that decision of whether you do stay or whether you do go, whatever area of your life that that may relate to. If you've been in two minds over something, now is the time for you to start thinking, which way are you going to go? Are you going to cut your losses or are you going to continue striving at something that isn't bringing you the fulfillment that you are actually trying to create in your life? Um, this is about basically going within, finding those answers within, finding what works for you and sticking to it. You are being pushed at this time to decide where you want to go, what you want to do, how you're going to create things in your life. So what advice do we need as we move forward? What advice, advice to move forward with? What advice do we need to move forward? What advice do we need? There we go. We have the moon in Libra. Love. Bring peace to your life and your relationships will flourish. Okay, so it's all about love. Everything is all about love, isn't it? It's about just enjoying yourself, being happy, giving love to others, receiving love. This is basically just doing what is good for you, loving yourself, taking care of yourself, but in return, giving that love to others. Even if sometimes you do not feel that they are deserving of that love, give it to them. You can do it from a distance. If you are disconnected from people, if you are not, um, they are not part of your life anymore, you can still send them love. Um, and it's about just really just knowing that things that have happened have happened for a reason, okay? They are acting in a way that they are what is best for them, okay, is what I'm hearing. They are acting in a way that is best for them. Just send them love, okay? This isn't a time to hold judgment. It's not a time to be um, thinking those bad thoughts or anything, Jupiter, very optimistic, it is very lucky, it is very happy and when it's going direct, it's time to just embrace that energy and know that whatever is going on in your life, just be joyful about it, take it as the lessons that it needs to be, take it as a, a little bump, something that is going to course, um, redirect your course, etc., so we are going to jump into the Angel Guide Oracle and I'm just going to ask for one final message. One final message, what we need to know as Jupiter goes direct. One final message, what do we need to know as Jupiter goes direct? Just one final message please. do have harmony and resolution that was sort of like teetering on whether to come out and we have healing energy so as I was saying with this love you don't need to be in contact with those that you need to express that love to it could be that you are estranged from them for a very good reason um, it could be that they will never, ever be part of your life anymore. But that does not mean to say that you can't think of them and send them love. Wish them well on their path, even though their path is now completely separated from yours. OK, harmony and resolution, thinking peacefully, coming to a conclusion that works for both of you or all of you, however many people are actually involved. OK, and healing energy. Let's dig into this. So as Jupiter goes direct, we need to remember angels are envelope, enveloping you in healing energy at this time. They are swirling around you, filling your mind, body and soul with soothing and peaceful light. They are guiding you to receive this healing energy and allow your body time to return to its natural state of goodness. Healing is actually an energy that goes beyond the body. It's the return to the natural and good state. 
Healing angels are placing their hands upon you and any situations that may be concerning you at this time. Know that the miracles you are seeking are unfolding before your eyes. You are blessed to receive this card today because the energy it brings will mend any breakages, wounds or emotionally raw situations that are troubling your heart. If anything in your life is broken or disrupted, this card indicates that healing energy is being brought to it. Your angels want you to know that any prayers or calls for help and support you have sent out have been received and that they are working on the case now. Healing doesn't happen tomorrow. It begins today. So you are guided to visualise the best and most loving outcome possible in all areas of your life. See angels of light placing their hands upon anything that may be of concern and know that when you do this, you're allowing healing energy to unfold in the present moment. Okay, so perfect. Absolutely beautiful. This Jupiter going direct, it is going to bring the healing to situations, to relationships that is actually needed. It may not be what you wanted, but it is and always will be what is needed. Everything is working out as it should be and all is going to be good. OK, so that is your Jupiter going direct reading. If you are liking, please remember that thumbs up. If you are wanting to click on that subscribe button. I do have details below if you wish to donate or whether you wish to book a reading. So just read the description box below. Everything is there that you need to know. OK, so having said that, Enjoy this lucky time. Enjoy the energies of Jupiter being around you. Embrace the new. Feel the energy. Feel the love. It's just such an optimistic energy and it's just going to be absolutely fabulous. Okay, so you take care of yourselves and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.